Finally, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, some thrilling news about Boeing. Let's see what is happening. On January 16th, Boeing officially resumed test flights of the 777X aircraft after a prolonged suspension due to identified technical issues. Specifically, the test aircraft, registered as N779XY and known by the designation TSUH-003, took off from King County International Airport, also known as Boeing Field, at 2.12 p.m. local time. After conducting a flight over Washington State and briefly over a part of Oregon, the aircraft returned to its departure airport at 4.18 p.m. the same day. After the test flight, Boeing stated, We continue to conduct rigorous testing programs to demonstrate the safety, performance, and reliability of the 777-9. According to Boeing, Representatives from the Federal Aviation Administration were not present on this flight. The 777X is the new version of the 777 series, one of Boeing's most commercially successful long-haul passenger aircraft. Initially, the company planned to deliver the first new aircraft to Qatar Airways in 2020, but the timeline has been pushed back to 2026. Boeing's resumption of test flights for the 777X marks an important step forward, especially given this aircraft line's significant challenges. On September 20th, 24, the test flight was suspended due to the discovery of fractured thrust links affecting all four 7779 test aircraft. This issue raised concerns about the safety and reliability of the new aircraft, particularly as the aviation industry grapples with the dual pressures of enhancing both performance and safety. The detection and resolution of the problem demonstrate the U.S. manufacturer's rigorous testing processes. However, the prolonged suspension has inevitably resulted in delays in the delivery schedule, impacting customer trust and the confidence of airlines that have placed orders for this aircraft. The year 2024 began turbulently for Boeing, with the mid-air door panel explosion on an Alaska Airlines flight in January triggering significant fallout. However, as of now, 2025 is shaping up to be a calmer period, with the company avoiding any controversies that could tarnish its reputation. This marks a golden opportunity for 2025 to become a pivotal year of recovery for the aircraft manufacturer. Boeing is not only striving to fully address the door latch issue, overcome the aftermath of a 52-day machinist strike, and improve its lackluster delivery numbers, but also remains committed to fulfilling its bold promises to customers reaffirming its position as a global leader in aviation. This includes the challenging task of certifying three major commercial aircraft programs, the 737 MAX 7, 737 MAX 10, and 777X. Currently, Boeing has not provided any updates on the two 737 MAX programs, although the company previously announced that the 777X is expected to enter commercial service in 2026, following another delay that pushed its original entry into service date back from 2020. And in a positive situation, David Calhoun, the former chairman and CEO of Boeing, revealed during the earnings call on July 31st, 2024, that the company had identified a technical solution for the engine anti-icing system, which had been hindering the certification for the MAX 7 and MAX 10. This former CEO further stated that the updated system would be deployed in 2025, paving the way for the certification and delivery of both the 737 MAX 7 and 737 MAX 10. These advances not only highlight the company's effort to overcome challenges, but also reaffirm the company's commitment to meeting customer expectations and restoring its leadership position in the global aviation industry. So, do you think Boeing will be able to receive flight certification for its aircraft, at least for the 777X this year? Leave a comment with one if you think it's possible, or two if you think it's not. As mentioned in a previous test flight, Boeing identified a critical issue related to the fractured thrust links on August 20th, 24. Upon discovering that the damaged thrust links were not functioning as designed, this manufacturer immediately suspended the test flight campaign to conduct thorough checks and adjustments. The company's engineering team replaced the faulty part and gathered valuable lessons from the incompatibility of the component. Thrust links, a crucial structural element between the engine and the aircraft's fuselage, are specially designed for the 777-9. Each 777-9 has two thrust links, providing necessary redundancy to ensure stability and safety during flight. We have mentioned many times how the 777X delays have had significant consequences. 
Of course, they have had considerable repercussions, both economically and in terms of reputation, not only for Boeing, but also for airlines and the global aviation market. Firstly, this delay has increased production and testing costs for Boeing as it extended the development timeline and complicated the resolution of technical issues. The suspension of test flights from September 20th, 24 to January 20th, 25. Due to the fractured thrust links is a prime example, leading the company to not only spend more resources, but also erode customer and investor confidence. Second, for airlines, the delay of the 777X means setbacks in fleet expansion plans and the launch of new long-haul routes. Some carriers, such as Emirates and Lufthansa, which had placed significant trust in this aircraft, are facing challenges in maintaining their competitiveness. Without new, high-performance aircraft, airlines are forced to extend the service life of older models, increasing operating costs due to lower fuel efficiency. Furthermore, the lack of new aircraft may limit their ability to meet the growing passenger demand during the post-pandemic recovery, resulting in lost revenue opportunities. Moreover, this situation has diminished Boeing's reputation in the market. Competitors like Airbus with its A350 line have seized this opportunity to strengthen their position by offering more reliable and readily available products. This has placed the manufacturer from the U.S. under increasing pressure to retain long-standing customers and compete for market share. On the other hand, the European manufacturer is doing a great job of retaining customers. They are creative, hardworking, and know how to listen to their clients. Given the current situation, it remains to be seen how Boeing will regain trust in the future. And with high expectations, this positive signal could mark the end of the challenges that have plagued the aviation industry regarding this aircraft. First and foremost, it demonstrates that Boeing has taken decisive steps to address technical issues while reaffirming its commitment to enhancing safety standards and product quality. The return of the 777-9 to the skies brings hope for meeting future delivery schedules, particularly for airlines that have suffered losses due to the delays. For airlines, successful test flights not only restore confidence in the product, but also open up opportunities to leverage the superior features of the 777X. With greater passenger capacity and improved fuel efficiency, this aircraft promises significant economic benefits for long-haul routes. These advantages not only help reduce operating costs, but also enhance competitiveness, especially in international markets. Overall, this event marks a crucial milestone in the recovery journey for both Boeing and the aviation industry, though it remains essential to closely monitor the progress and the stability of the aircraft in the next phases. It's time to think a little. Do you believe that the successful test flights of the 777X will help Boeing regain the confidence of its customers and the aviation industry as a whole, even attracting more customers for this new product? Let us know your thoughts. Let's consider this shaking event's objective meaning and importance first. This is truly a positive signal, sure, because it has been a long time since news about Boeing that hasn't drawn criticism, reflecting the company's commitment to ensuring product quality. However, it's worth noting that the issue involving the thrust links is a serious one, as it directly impacts operational safety. This raises questions about the effectiveness of previous testing phases, as well as the quality oversight processes during the development stage. The 777X, anticipated to be Boeing's new flagship in the wide-body aircraft segment, is under significant pressure from the market. Competitors like Airbus, with its A350 series, are currently dominating thanks to advanced technology, supply chain stability, and timely deliveries. However, if it can comprehensively resolve the technical issues of the 777X, this aircraft will become a key factor in regaining trust and competitiveness in this segment. The Boeing new aircraft is not only newer, but also designed to surpass the A350 in several aspects. Firstly, it is significantly larger. The 777-9 is the largest of the two wide-body families, boasting a length of nearly 76.81 meters and space for up to 426 passengers in two classes. The Airbus A350-1000 follows at about 73.76 meters with a capacity of 350 to 410 passengers. Then the 777-8 at 708.66 meters. The A350-900 is the smallest of the four at just over 66.75 meters long, according to the plane maker. 
This larger capacity and size make the 777X an optimal choice for high demand routes. In terms of propulsion, the aircraft is equipped with the GE9X, the world's largest and most powerful certified commercial aircraft engine. Each GE9X engine with a fan diameter of 134 inches, nearly equal to the fuselage width of the Boeing 737, delivers a maximum thrust of approximately 110,000 pounds, significantly more than the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97 engines used on the A350-1000, which provides up to 97,000 pounds of thrust. This additional thrust not only supports the larger size and payload of the 777X, but also contributes to better performance on longer routes and under challenging operating conditions. Despite its power, the GE9X engine is designed for efficiency, reducing fuel consumption and emissions by about 10% compared to earlier 777 engines. Combined with advanced composite folding wingtips, this new aircraft delivers excellent aerodynamic performance and optimized operations, even at space-constrained airports. With these advantages in size, capacity, and power, the 777X is well-positioned to meet the economic needs of airlines while opening up opportunities for long-haul, high-capacity routes. Airbus, despite its stronghold with the A350, may soon face a truly formidable and ambitious competitor in the 777X from Boeing. Overall, this event not only marks a new milestone in the 777X testing campaign, but also serves as an opportunity for this company to reaffirm its position in the aviation industry. However, to achieve this, the company must continuously elevate technical standards and maintain greater transparency throughout the product development stages. Other airlines that have ordered Boeing's new aircraft include Emirates, Lufthansa, Singapore Airlines, and Cathay Pacific Airways. According to Sirium, an aviation industry analysis company, Boeing has received 481 orders for the 777X, including 170 aircraft from Emirates and 60 from Qatar Airways. Soon, we will see this incredible aircraft soaring through the skies. Each successful test flight is a step closer to certification. With the aircraft's exceptional potential to enhance operational performance and reduce fuel costs, Boeing's success in this project will bring long-term benefits to the aviation industry. This is not just the debut of a new aircraft, but also a testament to the adaptability and innovation of one of the most iconic names in aviation history. What do you think the future of the aviation industry will look like with the introduction of the 777X? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, and may you always have safe flights. See you in the next episodes.